Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another design video uh, with me, Jungle Bry, AKA Brian. This week, I'm super excited because we are going to redesign basketball jerseys. I'm a huge basketball fan, big NBA guy, and uniform design and logo design is one of my favorite things. And so having the chance to go through and redesign every team in the NBA, essentially, I'm really excited about it. So this week should be really fun. We are going to redesign the Oklahoma City Thunder uniforms. The Oklahoma City Thunder were given really generic logos and uniforms that they still use to this day. It drives me crazy. So we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna see if we can make it better. I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you wanna ask me any questions, I stream three days a week on Twitch, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So please come hang out with us. Um, we'd love to have you there. So anyways, without any further ado, let's jump right in. Funky Fresh. Hey guys, all right, so let's do this. The Oklahoma City Thunder. Ever since their inception into the league, you know, they got this logo going. It's it's so painfully generic. It just hurts my graphic designer jersey love and soul. And we need to fix it. You know, they threw this team together super quick and they threw the jerseys together with little to no thought. But it's still just very generic. This jersey design would work for any team in the NBA or WNBA, or college, or ABA, or high school, or AAU team. You know, the list goes on. So here's what we're going to try to improve upon today. There's that one we were just looking at, the two boring ones we've seen for years. And then this one, again, so boring. I love sports uniforms, and I really want to design, like, the whole league. Like, I want to do every single team. I think that'd be really fun, and I think, it, you know, I would love to hear what you guys think of my work. So for the Thunder, I actually started this project a little bit ago. So we're going to take a look at what I've done in the past and see if we can make it cooler, man, because th what they got now is just, it's just, it's just not good. It's not good. Uh, anyway, so we'll see. Maybe mine's not going to be good either. Oh, no. Here's what I got. Here's where, here's where we're starting from. This is what I did a couple of years ago. I think the color palette up here, the black, like, I don't hate their colors in general. I just think they're using them wrong. Um, this black jersey with the simple blue. I like the lightning bolt that I've got coming in, separating the word thunder. And then as far as the logos that I made for them go, looking back, I'm not very impressed with this logo right here. So we may make some tweaks to that or just get rid of it. I don't know. We'll see. Keep watching the video and you'll find out. That was corny. But I'd love this. I love this like Thunderbird looking thing and it fits the heritage and then i've got this broken okc uh that i think is kind of cool i don't know i think we could do better really i just love this thunderbird i probably won't mess with that at all um and i like my use of black as the primary with these striking additional colors i like the lightning bolt on the side uh one problem they have with their current jerseys it's it's got this like two line oklahoma city on two lines and then a number it's just insane like no did anybody think i'm sorry i'm being rude don't be rude don't be rude we're gonna see what we can do to adjust what i have done uh in the past and make it better and then when we're done here's the cool part i've got these beautiful mock-ups that i got from sports templates um it's actually a gift from my brother yeah, so we're going to put it we're going to put the designs in these mockups and we're going to get a sweet look at these new uniforms. So, hopefully you guys like what we make. So, let's do this. All right. So, here we go. Let's 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 address this um this logo. This primary logo is uh there's it's really busy. It's a little bit insane and honestly, if not for that one little lightning bolt, it's still kind of generic itself and that's what we're trying to avoid. So, I love this. I just love this OKC Thunderbird I made. I'm so proud of myself. Get out of here. What is this, a Chevrolet or a Cadillac? Pfft, my word. Go on, go on, get. We need a word mark that says thunder. You know, that's like non-negotiable. So maybe we just start from scritchy scratch on it. Copper plate gothic beard. Beard. The font is slightly different, and I think I like the new font a bit more than the old font. I'm going to customize it a little bit. Like, I think I'm going to chop off the outside serif, like above this and the outsides of this, and to give it a little more of a custom feel and less of a generic font choice. Okay, let's start, let's start with this. First of all, the, the kerning on this is a little wild. So let's tighten this up a bit. Minus 100. 
and let's go ahead and create those outlines, maybe. And then we're going to go in here immediately and chop these off the top of this T because I'm not feeling them at all, and it makes it much more difficult to work with. So we're going to find our anchor there. Man, should we do it to all of them? Let's do it to all of them real quick, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. It is either going to be good or it is going to be bad. All right now, Mr. H. Mr. H, I swear. What in the world have you been up to? Quite suspicious behavior coming from you lately, Mr. H. Uh, I don't know. Now, we are, not, we are not in our kerning stance. If you remember from the last video, there is a proper kerning stance to be in. Um, so I just want you to know if you were going to leave in the comments below, hey, get in your kerning stance, Brian. What are you doing, boy? Um, you know, if you were going to be short with me, save your breath. Because we're not really kerning, kerning. This is cool. Okay. I think let's bring this lightning bolt back in. I actually do like it. And I think there's some potential, a little bit of potential there. What can I say? I'm a lightning bolt kind of guy. I'm a Harry Potter fan. Uh, I like Percy Jackson as much as the next guy or gal. We use our trusty shape builder tool to build our shape, you know. If you're not building shapes with your shape builder tool, I don't know what to tell you, partner. But you're missing out, okay? You're making a funny decision with your life. All right, look at that. All right, so now let's take our birdie boy. Hey, bird. I'm just going to delete this whole other thing. I don't want that anymore. Uh, There's our bird. Look at this beauty. And now we're left with something like that. What was, What do we think of that? Does it have potential? Is it silly? I don't know. Let's keep working. We'll find out. Just stay on, stay on, stay with me on this journey. Might look nothing like this when we're done. I don't know. All right, all right, all right. I'm a bird. I'm a thunderbird. I'm living my best life. I need. What's my motivation? Um. All right, here, let's let's also play with just this word here. So, what do we think of something like that? That's kind of beautiful, isn't it? Uh oh, it's really good. Uh oh. You guys, I think it's really good. Well, they'll see it later. It's fine. They'll see it later. It's fine. Uh, yeah, that looks super sick. And now we could put something like that on the jersey instead of just an outline. Oh, you guys, I'm liking this new direction. So the thunder, the curved thunder, maybe that's just for the jerseys and the straight, the logo is just this like, just this homeboy here. But let's type out um, Oklahoma City. And are you guys watching the playoffs at all right now? Do we have a lot of basketball fans or not really? Let me know in the, in the comments below. I watched, um, I recorded this on a little sneak peek, August 29th. Should be going up on a Friday. Happy Friday, you guys. If it went up on a Friday. If it's not Friday, then happy next Friday. So, uh, yeah. I just watched my magic get eliminated by the Bucks today. So, that was unfortunate. But, you know, you can't win them all. And yeah, make it blue. Nope. Undo that. I mean, that alone right there is kind of sick. But now we're kind of missing, like, a symbol. Which we have this symbol down here. Man, I wonder if, if there's a way just to kind of bring this together with this. Focus on your bird friend here. Yeah. Oh, look at me. I'm a bird. Good for you, bird. Uh, and then we send it to the back because it's a bird. Now I might break my computer, so I'm going to save this first. Yep. Saving it to a legacy format. Great. Um, I don't know if, if these are too many points, but we're going to try to use the shape builder on this thing. This is not smart. Not smart at all. Oh, no, you guys. It's too many points. Why'd you do it, Brian? Why'd you do it? Uh, no, don't you don't need to send a report. I know what I did. And center that and get rid of the word Oklahoma City. No way, that's so imbalanced. 
Nope, 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 nope. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through and adjust the OKC. Um, I'm gonna do the same kind of 3D effect that I really like that we have on the word thunder here. Uh, we'll have another second thought about these outlines or not. Then we'll throw them into these mockups. Yeah, we'll see what you guys think. Anyways, yeah, I'll be I'll be right back. Just give me just give me one second. I'll be right back. I gotta go, I gotta go get it. I gotta go get the final the final design and then put it in the mockup. I'll be right back. Okay, just one sec. All right. Got those final designs for you guys. And I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm I'm I really like where this ended up. So let's take a look and I can't wait to see what you guys think. Uh, leave me some comments below. I'd love to see your guys' thoughts. With no further ado, let's get into this. First of all, here's the old, right? This is the old logo. It's just real bad. It was always bad. I don't know why I made it and I apologize. Out with the old and in with the new, baby. Look at this. Look at that. I love that word mark on top of that blue bird in the background with the Oklahoma City coming through. It looks so good. And then I made an OKC to match. And then we left this alone because it's gorgeous already. It's gorgeous already. So this is looking super good. I'm very happy with where this ended up. Now let's take a look at the uniforms. Just a quick reminder for you. The old uniforms were here, right? We had the we were dabbling and doing some stuff with, with this. We, we changed this up. This is not the final product. Um, and then these ones had like, honestly, way too similar to the current Thunder uniforms, right? Um, so it just wasn't working for me. Uh, so anyways, here's just a 2D quick version. There's like this crazy bird one. Um, yeah, I, I decided to not fall into the trap and to grow a pair and actually ditch the outlines like you don't need them often you don't need them it's it's a trap it's a trap so anyways i love this black one how this turned out and i'll show you guys the full-blown mock-ups in just a second here they look so much better on real jerseys um this crazy bird one was super fun it might not work at all it's kind of silly but um i was just trying to go for something like what the hawks used to have um with their bird mascot and then you've got the classic white and blue uniforms um, anyways, we'll go through the, the full blown mock-ups in a second. All right. So here's the blue one in all of its mocked up glory. I'm, I'm loving how this is looking. Uh, let's take a look at the white. Um, there's the white version. Again, I think it looks super strong. I think, I think these would look really cool in person. All right. So let's go check out my favorite design, the black ones. I think this looks so sick. What do you guys think? I love this so much. OKC up top with that cool shadow effect. Um, and then just the super simple, clean numbers and stuff, nothing crazy. I kept these jerseys really simple. I didn't want, again, I didn't want all these crazy outlines. So anyways, uh, I love these ones. I think they're dope. And I could see Steven Adams just getting buckets in these, blocking shots, you know, making people mad for no reason. Cause he just kind of one of those players that just gets under your skin. I love him. And last, but certainly not least, these wild bird jerseys, I think they're kind of cool. I didn't quite know what to do with the shorts, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, this is the best I came up with, kind of mimicking that pattern that we see elsewhere in the logos and stuff at the bottom of the tail of the bird. So let me know what you would have done or what you'd like to see change-wise on this one. So this is where we're at. I'm going to leave it on the black one. Um, this is my favorite. So we'll, this will be the last one we look at together. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave some comments below. I will be reading all of the comments. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited how this turned out. And it feels cool to finish this. Like this is a big project of this whole NBA by Brian thing. I started it forever ago. And I'm really excited to get back on board and, and keep rolling with it. So anyways, you guys, I uh, really hope you enjoyed the design today. I'm really happy with it. I really love uh, how these turned out. And I really, really love the new logos. So I can't wait to read you guys' comments. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that bell icon, do all those youtube -y things, you know, because if you don't, you know, you'll probably be fine if you don't, but I, it'd be cool if you did. Thanks for watching this one, you guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Uniforms and logos that they still use to this day, and it's been over a decade. So, come on.